Welcome to this Light Reading video chat. I'm Terry Sweeney, contributing editor with Light Reading, and I'm joined now by Matthias Friedstrom, VP and Chief Evangelist of Telia Carrier. Matthias, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks, Terry, for having me. Uh, as the number one global internet provider, uh, I can certainly imagine that the last year has been challenging on many levels as the internet has been stress test like never before. Um, talk about some of your biggest technology challenges that you've run up against um, and also some of your triumphs. Yeah, um, you know, um, last year, about this time, you know, in March last year, traffic started to grow tremendously when people started to work from home instead of working from there where they used to work from. And I would say that absolute by far largest challenge was to keep up with this traffic growth, you know. How do you get uh, enough equipment into the network to keep up with the traffic growth? And I think, you know, we had some fabulous planning tools in here that actually helped us to develop and, and, and put the gear where it made the most sense to put it in. You know, you can't have everything at once. So we had to prioritize and put the equipment where it needed to be at a, any point in time so that we could sort of grow uh, with the traffic growth. And I would say, you know, the biggest triumph is probably that we didn't have many packet losses during spring last year. And even the growth during the autumn when people stayed at home and you have the normal seasonality growth. I think, you know, last year was also putting the network to a test again. But I think, you know, if there's one thing we learned, you know, never cheat on your build outs, you know. Uh, sometimes you can be tempted of running the network a bit hot to save on CapEx. Never do that again, you know. You never know what's going to happen the next month. So be ready. Have the network at the level you need to have it. And those things I think we learned. Of course, you know, the challenge of, of having people to travel to install things when every country is in a lockdown, that is another challenge that we had. But I think most of our vendors made a tremendous effort to make sure goods were delivered to where it was supposed to be installed and so on. So I think, you know, many challenges 2020, but I think we survived it pretty well. Well, bravo. Um, Telia Carrier has also been working with uh, Cisco and Acacia to build the Internet for the Future with 400G ready network powered by routed optical networking, converging IP and optical transport layers. Um, talk a bit, if you would, about some of the big advantages that you're seeing or expecting with this transition and how other operators uh, stand to benefit from it. No, absolutely. This is one of the biggest opportunities we've, we've seen in, in the last couple of years. You know, this is a tremendous opportunity for an operator to, to lower the capex because what happens in reality is you can, you can in some parts of your network remove one network layer, you know. You don't need this optical layer of, of, of having transponders in there to send traffic quite short distances. Instead, you're using the fact that these optical components can be put into routers directly and this is going to be a fantastic game changer for many of us operators you know in and through this we can connect so many more places without having the extra cost of, of having an optical layer in there of course uh, and the fact that this is standardized right from the start and and in very small form factor that actually fit into routers and, and everything else makes this a very compelling thing you know i think uh, we will lower our cost tremendously uh, with this, and there is a great opportunity for us to grow our network at, at a much better cost with this thing. So I think we were look we are looking forward to this. You know, we've done some fantastic tests with Cisco and Acacia during the Christmas time frame. Worked really well. So I think you know, once this is mature enough, we will start to put this into our network. Uh, we've made some. As some calculations, we've made some analysis, and there are a number of places where this will make sense already this summer. So, so fantastic thing for us, we believe. Good stuff. Um, you mentioned uh, optics just a, a, a few minutes ago. Talk about how important optics are um, with regard to powering the internet for the future, um, as well as choosing the right optics vendor to support that vision. No, absolutely. Op optics is, is a 
it's the backbone of everything we do, you know, without optics, we would be nothing, you know, so that's absolutely super important for us, you know, uh, we need to have great vendors in the optical layer in the network. Uh, I think one of the things that's happening right now in the market is this open line system that comes in, you know, you can mix and match the best equipment from the best provider at the best time. And that is something that's, again, going to change the operator industry, you sort of, uh, in the past, you sometimes felt you were locked in because your vendor was late with the latest gear. I think this open way of, of doing networks, that's going to open the doors for all vendors to be successful when they are successful and to fight hard when they are not the one that have the best gear at that point in time. Uh, that's going to be a very, very good thing for operators. And I think most of the vendors are looking forward to this as well in some way because it makes them able to come into accounts where they've been locked out for forever. So I think this is a, a major game changer again for our industry. Uh, and as I said, you know, the optical layer of our network is by far the most important one. Without that, you know, we wouldn't have a network. Um, that, that's all great perspective. Um, I'm wondering if you would uh, take us out by looking into your crystal ball and telling us what you see with regard to what the new normal looks like. What, what's, what's beyond the, uh, the current networking and work from home state that the, the world finds itself in? Yeah, I think that's the, the the main question that we think about every day here. You know, I I, I don't think anyone else, else. I've seen the traffic so far this year has grown every month. You know, typically January, February, March are slow growing month, but it's still growing out there. So it means that people are still working from home. Most companies are still in a lockdown. Most countries are in a lockdown. What's going to happen with the vaccination comes through? I don't think really anyone knows. I think what we can do is only to be prepared. Uh, and that's what we do right now. We're spending a lot of time and effort into building out the network further to be ready if more traffic is going to come our way. And then, of course, this in combination with this new way of running traffic on the IP side, the IP backbone. I think we will have our hands full the next coming years with this new technology, 400ZR, that's going to be very important for us. So who knows? But if the traffic continues to grow, I can guarantee you we will be ready. Well, be prepared is always good advice. Uh, Matthias, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no, thanks very much, Terry. We've been talking with Matthias Friedstrom of Telia Carrier. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us today.